I have a nuke in my inventory. I swear. Incoming I... nuke. Huh? Incoming nuke. Oh, you did give me that. Oh god. Or are you saying you detonate L? Oh god. Okay, <laughs> those are bigger than they used to be. Sorry. <laughs> well, L. Um. My apologies. Those did not used to be quite that. He big. built a wither. You birthed a wither. That one wasn't me. Well, you know we're in creative mode, so it's not exactly pit mode. Well, maybe it is pissed. Eat bullets, you bastard! Oh, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh yeah, this area was wrecked. I don't mind. I'm in hell. I punched him. <laughs> Gaining <laughs> Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> Victory! Bullets. <laughs> you destroyed my horrible abomination. That was awesome. <sighs> hey, wait, the miner's still up here. <laughs> oh, no, the oh, creative God. generator's floating there. Well, it's dead now. If you come over here, you get so radiation. a village that now. we could terrorize, or we could, you know, take off in a direction and say, uh, straight on till dawn. What did you say if I come over where? Near the crater, you'll get her radiated. Really? How do I tell? You should have green particles floating around you and a little heart on the right-hand side near your map. No. I'm right- I'm in the crater. I've definitely got the particles. Yeah, I see them. Wait, so I'm the only one who gets irradiated here? <laughs> it was your nuke. This... This seems a little too fair. <laughs> Are you in creative mode? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's weird. <coughs> Maybe it wears off after a time and you just happen to trigger it before it wore off. Nah, because I've got exactly one minute on it and it's resetting to one minute, so it's something in the area generating it. Oh. Uh, yeah, I need coffee. <laughs> Well, apparently, I don't get radiation. Left out. <laughs> He's disappointed over radiation. What? Pointed over radiation. Oh. <laughs> no, he got that uranium fever. <laughs> I need that glow, man. So as far as picking a direction and going, or setting up a base or whatever, um, I have no preference. Although, I guess since that crater is radioactive... Anywhere but there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'll go east. This hill looks okay. I went straight north, so... I will avoid playing with nukes. Oh my god. Well, at least for now. The weather's making sense! I went north and I went into a taiga! Oh my god, the crater looks amazing on the map. That's cool. <laughs> it used to be the IC2 nukes were kind of lag monsters, but they've gotten so much better. So, uh, who wants to build in a cold desert? <laughs> <laughs> build in a cold desert? Hey, Carpe, do you actually know how to use advanced rocketry? I have no idea how to use that one in particular. <laughs> Me either, but you've built a giant rocket, and that in and of itself is cool. Oops. Alright, so we have a reactor. 
Now you need to put fuel rods and various coolants and stuff like that on the inside of it. Through its inventory? Yep. Um, fuel rods tick and add heat to the system. Okay. And if a fuel rod is next to another fuel rod, when a fuel rod ticks, it will cause the other fuel rods to also tick. Mm. Which can cause, you know, a chain of ticks, which makes them more efficient, but also ends up generating a lot more heat. Right. So you have to balance the amount of heat you're extracting, the amount of heat you're moving to and from the hole, and the amount of heat you're dissipating with the amount of power generation you're creating by running the fuels. I see. Do fuel rods I run out? I don't think the world likes several different yeah. people moving in different directions at the same time. Uh, it's brand new, so it's generating it as we go. Yeah, I didn't notice progenitor on the list, so we can't do pregen or anything here to help with that either. So I forgot. Oh, if, this is somewhat interesting. Forgot if I asked. Does it do fuel rods run out? Yeah, every time they do their own tick they run out. If they're getting a free tick, it doesn't count against them. Okay. So, oh, I see. It depletes their durability. Right. And the amount of durability that other, thing, the other things in there have is the amount of heat they're taking. If they take too much damage, they break. Gotcha. And if so, it, a lot of times, if one thing in your reactor gets too hot and snaps, the whole reactor starts this cascade uh -oh. of there's not enough heat, there's not enough heat, there's not enough heat, boom. <laughs> Did we run out of memory on the server? Server closed. Oh. Yep, it's down. Let's see what happened. Minecraft servers with lots of mods like this tend to be pretty explodey. <clears throat> okay. Well, I've got 24 gigs of RAM to dedicate to this, so... Um, when you start adding tons of mods, Minecraft just... I mean, after a certain point... It just can't take it. it... You, you pretty much need a Blizzard server to run it. It doesn't help that a lot of mod pack creators' idea of how to build a mod pack is quick, grab every mod that runs on this version and put it in here. <laughs> like, if you look at the, the <clears throat> list of mods that are in this pack, for instance, it's big. they're not particularly, like, thematic or following a general progression or anything like that. It's, it's someone went, these are all the cool industrial mods. We're just going to throw them in one pack and call it good. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, let me start this up. I gave it 16 gigs instead of 4. Yeah, that should help. Starting server. This gives Rage time to get set up and, and running. <clears throat> Up to eight viewers got good audience today. Though I think I'm gonna quit and uh, just kind of watch for a while. Okay. Sorry. No, don't be sorry about. <sighs> you know that's contagious. Yeah. Oh crap! Yeah, I got to change my channel. Their info. What's going on? Oh, I'm I'm. My stream says I'm playing The Witcher. Nah. I'm gonna go make good on that uh, coffee threat. <laughs> Updated. Okay, thanks for the heads up on that. <laughs> well... Rage, I'm guessing the news is it, it technically worked, but it worked by, you know, having the server die. Connect now? Nope. It's still starting. <laughs> oh, it died. Oh, I bet the... Save got corrupt. Um, it keeps backups. <laughs> nice.
A single server tick took 60 seconds, should be max 0.05 seconds. That's bullshit. The timer should be... <laughs> set the server properties again. Can I set the timeout to something bigger than 60? We might be playing this. Oh, I know how to set up servers now. Oh, Minecraft 1.7? Okay. Come on, start you bastard. Okay, it's running. Talking CPU, hopefully it starts ticking so the stupid script doesn't kill it. My nine count is crying? What? I don't get it. Okay, that's settled down. Let's try to connect again. There we go. Oh, right. Yeah. Five nines, not here. Yay, we're back, baby. Now with more memory. Oh my god. Just spawned a plane. That's cool, Deveus. We'll have to, um... Eh, have to figure out how to, like, share these with each other and not publish them publicly, because I know the Minecraft community is really uptight about whether you share and rehost stuff, the different mods and mod packs. So. I don't want to offend anybody. Alright, so there's a liquid fuel tank here from Advanced Rocketry. Somebody is trying to build a rocket. I approve. <clears throat> yeah. It makes sense. I mean, it's such a massively popular game, you're gonna it's gonna attract assholes. A real shame, but it happens. Okay, so then I need to find... I guess I have to learn how to cool the reactor down?
<laughs> yeah, whoever left these planes here is, was not very good at flying them. I mean, the wing's going right through this one. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's handy. So you just publish your metadata to curse and then point people to it and their client sets it up. That's that's a good idea. Kind of wish the Fallout mods, that, that stuff could do the same thing. It doesn't? Huh. I thought it did. That sucks. Oh, neat. How are you building that fast? You're making a runway. Ah. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna be a jerk and go look at a wiki. Just to see what basic bits need to go into this reactor. Yeah, Rage, it totally took about like 8 to 10 minutes for it to start. It's kind of bad. I get the impression we may end up doing something different than this. This was just something I found. Ooh! If cooling is insufficient, the reactor will gradually overheat and eventually explode violently. Reactors are complex and not for the faint of heart. A bad design can suddenly replace your house with a nice new crater. Neat. <laughs> awesome. Apply a lever on off switch, reactor produces five. Okay. Generates four heat. <laughs> if too much accumulates in the reactor, the reactor will start doing bad things with capital B and capital T, such as poisoning players in the area or exploding violently. So it looks like I want reactor heat vents all over the place. <laughs> nice, Deveus. <laughs> oh, so you build a design and then just build it over and over? That's cool. So I guess I want... We want reactor heat vents, it sounds like. Yeah, I don't understand what a heat exchanger is supposed to do. So I'm going to skip that section and go on to cooling cells. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh neat, there's a reactor planner. That's kind of cool. 
Picture book. I'm just let's see. Absorb instantly but cannot dissipate on their own. Oh, so you put a <laughs> What you doing, Turbo? Come here. I'll pick you up, buddy. Come here, baby. Come on. Good boy. Big old cat. <clears throat> yeah, very nice. Um, is that just a gooey click and run? I mean, you, you guys know I'm not going to use a planner for the first time, right? I'm going to build something stupid, make it explode. I hope nobody... You're not building anything you care about here, right? Okay, I shouldn't do it here. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be nice and go over this way. You guys have fun with your airport. <laughs> it's good to be back. Turbo says hi. He's 15 pounds and supposed to be going up. Because he's not... He wasn't eating enough food, but now he's, he's getting better. Okay, so let's go... Oh, this should be far enough away. I don't... Oh, did you just TNT the planes? Kind of funny. Ah. Okay, clearly Turbo does not want to be on my lap. He wants something from me, though. <laughs> Fill it full of quad uranium cells. Stick a lever on it and turn it on. Watch glorious energy produced at an incredible rate, then released at an incredible rate. I, I want to try to at least... Not completely screw it up. Oops. That's tr no, god damn it. Damn it. And the zombies are, are helping me. They're serenading me. <clears throat> so this won't start doing anything until I turn it on, right? Okay. Heat exchanger, reactor heat exchanger. That looks like the thing I need from just reading the description. So we'll see how this goes. What are these side boxes for? Radioactive. Oh, it's probably because I'm holding fucking uranium. <laughs> well, that's what the ra uh oh. I thought the heat exchangers did that.
Oh, cripes. Okay. Uh, well, that was stupid then. <clears throat> so where... Vents. Wait, I have vents. Oh, shit. I did the wrong thing. Yeah, I get it. Are you seriously supposed to wear a hazmat suit to do all this? That's funny. Well, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, I've got so much useless shit in my inventory. <clears throat> oh, the vote of confidence. That tells me I've done exactly the right thing and we're going to get a glorious, beautiful explo- I mean, power system. One lever, please. I'll take 64, why not? <laughs> Here we go! EU mode, thro output throttled by 50%. That's okay. Well, it's it's getting hotter. It's, it's getting quite a bit hotter. Oh, what the hell? The, all the parts break. Oh, I doubt it somehow. Well, let's irradiate myself again. Oh, so, okay, they don't break until it runs out, or runs to zero. Something? I don't know. Why is it still heating up if I've taken the fuel out and turned it? Oh yeah, okay, I see now. It's gotta cool off. That's, that's cool. Neat. Radiation, 10 seconds. Hey! Now my, my interface is fixed. Because this sidebar, my status is here. Oh, am I not in creative mode? No, nope, in creative. Oh, okay, does that eventually dissipate, or do I have to put something on the outside, too? So apparently if you want to browse all these tabs, you just need to get yourself irradiated. Oh. Oh! Okay, that's cool. I get it now. Well, neat. So that's fixed. Reactor cools itself. That's excellent. We decided I needed 
single fuel rods. My teeth are glowing. What are these four boxes on the side for? Oh, they don't stack. Bummer. Oops. Well, I biffed that. Output 30 EU, but the core temperature seems to be stable. Neat! Okay, EU mode, so I need heat mode, I guess. Yay! Yeah, I built a stable reactor and haven't killed myself with it yet. 